Hey everyone, welcome back. It's been a long time since I've done a YouTube video and I'm no pro YouTuber and well, that's pretty much obvious, but uh, I thought I'd do a review of my 2021 Honda Civic Civic Type R Sonic Gray Pearl. Uh, if you've seen my channel, I had a 2018 Honda Civic Sport that I bought new in April of 18 and I really loved that car. And man, it was it had the CVT transmission. It was a sport, um, the 1.5 turbo, dual exhaust. It was a really fun car. I have nothing bad to say about that car. I think I did a walk around review on it on YouTube as well. But I've always liked the Type R and uh, I sold it last July for, believe it or not, $1,000 less than what I paid for it back in 18. So I drove that car for three years for 1000 bucks. Today is January the 17th, 2022. Uh, in Utah today, it's like today was 45 degrees, which is unbelievably warm for January in Utah. It should be like 25, 30 degrees today. Nevertheless, I did wash the car. It was getting kind of dusty sitting in the garage because I keep her in the garage all the time. But I uh, thought I'd detail it today and do a little walk around video and tell you what I think about it. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, I do love this car. I, I bought it for MS, MSRP. I actually went to Nebraska to get this car. Flew into Nebraska and drove it home the same day. And uh, those people in Nebraska were sure a pleasure to deal with and uh, no regrets, especially for sticker price. So let's, uh, let's get into this video. I'm not sure how this will all turn out, but uh, I'll tell you what, 306 horsepower, 295 foot pound of torque it is no joke. It is such a beautiful, fun car to drive and own. And when I got it home, I added PPF, uh, I took it in and had PPF done on the hood, the fenders, the entire front grille, bumper, everything on the front of this car is covered in PPF, even the red Honda badge. I even had a little strip put on the bumper, which I'll show in a minute. I had the windows tinted, I had the window strip put on the windshield, 35% tint on the, on the driver and passenger door. 5% on the back windows and the rear hatch window. I also added this little red pinstripe on the mirror. I, I saw that on Instagram on another Sonic Gray Pearl and I thought it looked really good. That's two bucks. Just a little accent looks really cool. Um, I really have no plans of modding this car. I like keeping them stock. Holds the value well and I'm not a big boy racer and this car is just such a beast out of the box anyway. The uh, 20 inch wheels with the Brembo brakes. I'll tell you what, these things stop on a dime, but the bad news is brake dust is insane. I just detailed this car. If I was to go drive at 15, 20 miles, those wheels will be filthy as hell when I get home. Just the brake dust is just, that's, I mean, yeah, it sucks, but they are pretty much racing brakes, and you're going to get that. I had a BMW a long time ago, and uh, he did the same thing. Hope it looks good with the parking lights on. I just thought I'd do that because it's kind of sunset. Sun's about to go down. kind of running out of things to say, but what do you say? There's a million videos on Civic Type Rs. Hello. I've seen some different mats on uh, online that do have the Civic Type R logo, which it's down here. And then there's maybe more of a, uh, more of a heel pad there for wear. Maybe I'll get those. I bought this on Amazon, this little plushy thing. I guess in summer, they you know these steel or aluminum knobs, whatever, they get really hot. So 
I just throw that on there when she's parked and take it off when I'm driving. There's my number, 46807. Got about 2,500 miles on it now. Had it, I think I picked it up September 15th, 2021. Gotta love the red seat belts. Love them. So what do you guys think of my R? I absolutely love it. Drop a comment, tell me what you think. If you wanna follow me on Instagram with this car, it's Sonic underline FK8 underline USA. Well, we'll do another video follow up at a later date. So thanks for watching. Have a good day.